Testing one, two, three. Hello everyone, this is Necrostevo, and you are watching my first narrated Wi-Fi battle. This is a battle between myself and Michael when we were at the VGC's 2011 in Atlanta, Georgia. Now Michael has a theme to the names on his team, so I'll let you see if you can figure that out. But he starts off with a Thunderous and a Basculin, while I lead off with my Amoongus and Darmanitan. Now my first move is to use Rage Powder, which Rage Power has plus three priority and forces the opponent to use single targeting moves on only that Pokemon. Now Michael was forced for his Thunderous to hit um, the taunt onto Amoongus there, which means you cannot use any non-attacking moves. Fortunately I had Amoongus equipped with the Mental Herb, which means that the taunt will go away. That also means that Basculin's Aqua Jet was forced to hit Amoongus, and here the 30% chance of Effect Spore activating causes Basculin to get poisoned. Effect Spore can cause poison, sleep, or paralyzation. Now I chose Rock Slide with Darmanitan because of his ability Sheer Force and because he has a Life Orb equipped. Sheer Force gets rid of the secondary effects of moves while powering them up by an additional 30%. So here, not only did the flinch chance not have a chance of happening, but also the Life Orb recoil did not have a chance of happening. So I was able to take out that Thunderous pretty easily with the Rock Slide. Now here I protect to see what my opponent is going to do. Um, and obviously he tried to go for the Aqua Jet onto uh, Darmanitan, but he also tried to hit it with Haxorus with the Dual Chop. I used this opportunity to go ahead and put the Haxorus to sleep. Number one, because I couldn't get any status effect onto the Basculin there. But number two, because Haxorus can hit pretty hard and can be a pretty big threat. So now I know that the Rage Power is going to cause that Aqua Jet to hit my Amoongus, which means it won't be a threat. And since Haxorus has to sleep for at least one turn, Darmanitan is free to go for whatever attack will be the most appropriate to hit both of them. So I have a chance here to go ahead and finish off the Basculin with the Rock Slide and do heavy damage to the Haxorus. Now here Michael goes ahead and he sends out his Terrakion, which is one of the three uh, legendary beasts that are in black and white. I went ahead and used Rage Powder again, number one because I wasn't sure what Terrakion was going to do. And number two, if he did use a single attacking move, it would force it to hit Amoongus, whom I was pretty sure uh, could take a hit. Now, Terrakion is rock and fighting, so I was pretty sure he would have a rock attack, and I was pretty sure he'd have a fighting attack. I kind of did figure that he did have the Stone Edge, so the Rage Powder was the best move for me at the time. Now, Dual Chop has the same base power as Dragon Claw, but it splits it into two hits. Here, that kind of worked against my opponent, because he had double the chance of activating Effect Spore, which did poison his Haxorus. He did use the Rock Slide, which Darmanitan did not really have a chance of surviving because while Darmanitan does have great HP, his HP stats are, um, I'm sorry, his defensive stats are not that good. Now since I knew that my opponent was part Rock, I went ahead and sent out my own Basculin, who was also Choice Banded, to go ahead and hit it with the Aqua Jet. Now Aqua Jet is even more effective coming from Basculin because of his ability, Adaptability, which powers up moves of the same type. Now there I just barely didn't kill the Terrakion, which was a little bit unfortunate, but I did protect with my Amoongus. Um, and he went ahead and tried to attack with the Dual Chop to hit Amoongus to finish it off. He did use Rock Slide again, um, but it was not enough to finish off uh, Basculin. Basculin's pretty frail, but again, attacks that hit more than one Pokemon at a time get their attack power cut down uh, by a fourth, I believe. So I am able to use the Aqua Jet to finish off his Terrakion, knowing that I was probably going to use, uh, go ahead and lose my Basculin to the Dual Chop. That was okay though because the Terrakion was a bigger threat for me than the Haxorus because I had a few other Pokemon on my team who were weak to that Rock Slide and I didn't really want to deal with that anymore in this battle. So here Michael sends out his Amoongus, affectionately named the Motherland, and I send out my Hexodus, which is Cryogonal. Cryogonal is actually a pretty fast ice Pokemon that gets pretty decent special attack. Mine is actually Scarf to make sure that it is able to run outrun other Scarf Pokemon with lower base speeds. Here it's extremely effective because I am able to hit both of his Pokemon with a Scarf Blizzard. Now I do miss the uh, Amoongus, which is extremely unfortunate because had I hit it right there I would have been able to kill it a lot sooner. But I am able to go ahead and finish off the Haxorus, which could have been a threat depending on what other moves it had. I really didn't see any of the other moves that it had, but that's kind of a good thing. Since I did not hit the Amoongus, uh, it does give Michael a chance to put me to sleep with the Spore, 
which Spore is still the only move in the game that has a 100% chance of putting something to sleep, not including Yawn, which takes two turns to activate. Now he sends out his Reuniclus, nicknamed Tardigrade, which is based off of the Jelly Bears. If you ever want to go look that up on Wikipedia, you'll be pretty interested in finding that they can survive in pretty much any environment. And I send out my Bufalant, who has the moves Head Charge, uh, Wild Charge, the Megahorn, which you just saw, and Rock Slide as well. Mega Horn I pack specifically at the VGC to hit things that would be setting up Trick Room such as Masharna or the Reuniclus. His Reuniclus just use the hidden power, most likely fighting or fire so that it can hit my Cryogano super effectively. Now Bufalon's special ability is very good especially against Amoongus because Sap Sipper makes him immune to grass type attacks which means no Spore and no Giga Drain. If he does get hit by a grass type attack it will raise his attack by one stage. Knowing that, Michael avoids attacking Bufalon with the Grass-type attacks. Uh, and here I'm able to finish off the Reuniclus with another Mega Horn. It's pretty fortunate that I didn't miss, because while Reuniclus is very slow, it's extremely powerful with special attacks. So here it is, three on one. I have one remaining Pokemon, which is my Tornadus. I have a Sleep Cryogonal, and I have my Bufalon. Now, Michael goes ahead, and he uses the Attract on the last turn, which makes my Bufalon fall in love with his Amoongus. When a Pokemon is afflicted with a Tract, it has a 50% chance of not attacking. And the only way to get out of a Tract is either be holding the appropriate item, the Mental Herb, to get rid of the Attract, to kill the Pokemon that caused the Attract, or to switch the other Pokemon out from battle. Here I would have loved it if uh, Hexodus had gone ahead and woken up so that I could hit the Amoongus with some more Ice Attacks, but in the meantime I just was continually using Head Charge, which was Bufalon's most powerful attack against the Amoongus. Head Charge is actually a much better attack than most recoil moves because Bufalon's uh, furry mane there causes him to test less, take less recoil damage. This means that in the long run he's able to use more attacks. Uh, now here he's going to continue using Sludge Bomb on Bufalon because he doesn't want to increase Bufalon's attack. Hexodus does wake up, but since I'm still locked onto the Blizzard attack, it misses again, and then it misses again. That's to be expected because Blizzard does not have the greatest accuracy, and the Stone Edge theorem states that the more you need to move, the more you need to move to hit, the less likely it is to hit. So he's able to take out my Hexodus with the Sludge Bomb, and that means I am down to my last two Pokemon, and he's still just sitting in there with the uh, the Motherland. Now you'll notice his HP is going up slowly, slowly, and even more slowly because he's equipped with the Black Sludge, which recovers the same amount of HP as leftovers which is 1 16th I believe, but it can only be used by a poisonous Pokemon, a poison type Pokemon. Now here I bring in my Tornadus and I put up a substitute and I was thinking that that would actually stop the Attract from hitting. But I did not know that Attract, much like Taunt or other moves of that type, uh, like Parish Song or even Destiny Bond, go through Substitute. So he, substitu uh, he uses Attract on my Tornadus as well. Had I just attacked there since my Bufalon was able to break through the Attract himself that turn, I would have been able to take out the Amoongus right there, assuming that Air Slash wasn't going to miss with the 5% chance to miss. So now I have two Pokemon in here that are in love with the Motherland, and while that is commending, I need my Pokemon to break through this in order to win this battle. So at this point, it really is a, a match on whether or not my Pokemon can break through that 50% chance to hit that Amoongus. And it's unfortunate because there are several turns in here where both po both of my Pokemon are immobilized by love. And since I have two Pokemon out, there's only a 25% chance of that happening. So I, I really just need one more attack, but here it is again. My, uh, my Pokemon are both uh, immobilized by love, and he's slowly getting his HP back with the Black Sludge. Um, I had a good time in this battle because even though it, it looks like I have a clear advantage, it really came down to could he stall me out? And while that is interesting, it, it really makes for a, a good battle, because I, I generally enjoy good battles, regardless of the type of Pokemon you use. As long as they're entertaining, as long as they're good Pokemon being used, interesting Pokemon being used, I generally have a good time with battles. So here I finally break through the love and mobilization, and I take out his Amoongus. That was a close 1-0 double battle at the Pokemon VGC, 